This is Crestview Science Day in the park, and we have all of our students, 600 children from pre-K through fifth grade here at the park today, and a whole lot of community organizations are here to help with the science class. Each grade level has activities that are specially selected for them based upon the science text for their grade level. And there's four to six activities, depending upon how many classes there are at that grade level, and the students rotate between the different activities. I can fly. Very good. High five. Good job. Our goal is to build enthusiasm for science across the school so that every child from pre-K through fifth grade is excited about learning science. It fell off of a tree into the water. And in here, I bet. You see that? Look at seeds. We have a visitor here from Mitchell Lake Audubon Society, and he is helping the kids look at different water samples and they're taking out bugs from the water samples and they're comparing those to a chart that then tells us whether or not the water is polluted. That, you guys, is a mosquito larva. I was um, looking for bugs but, um, to try to catch it with a scoop it up and looking at the different things that are in um, water and I learned that some things that um, look dirty are not, um, that can be clean. Science Day in the Park is really a lot of fun for the kids because we can get outside and they have lots of different sessions that they go to. We've got some really awesome presenters from SAWS and um, different places that the students are able to get some hands-on learning. <laughs> I put the water and I also help them build the pipes because I saw that they couldn't do it and I just went there and helped them. We go outside, they enjoy, they participate, and there's a lot of learning going on, a lot. That's what makes it so important. Let them get their hands on, on whatever they're doing. It can be a simple activity like doing a mini uh, terrarium to a big activity like the uh, water pipe. Master! Think about what needs to happen down here versus down here. Then we started connecting them and then we were looking, one of the kids were, was running and watching if there was a leak and a lot of water was spilling because they were putting the top from the bottom really high, but then we fixed the problem. Right there, that's good. That's good, that's good. Watch how it goes all the way down. Good job. Teamwork. That's uh, another important thing when we do activities like this. We feel like it's very important to have the children outside doing science and learning about science because when they go back in the classroom, they have real life experiences that they can relate to what they're learning in books and classroom activities. So it really is a way to tie real world experiences into the classroom experiences.